Hey guys, this is Sherry Ann Richardson from ExperimentalHomeCenter.com and that is our corn you're looking at. And this is Jeffrey who weighs, how tall are you? I'm about 5'10". He's 5'10", and um, hello corn out there. <laughs> um, I ain't detasseling that. <laughs> Bringing back shades of 7th uh, grade when I detasseled corn. And I'm when I was about to... four foot six and yes. tried to detassel. And look down here. Look at those roots. Going all the way up the corn stalk. And this is on all the different corn out here. Are you having fun there, Jeffrey? <laughs> well, I'm not seeing any fruit. No, I'm not either, but I believe... Oh, I see one. That one... What are we seeing? Well, I'm not sure what's wrong with this one. What do you mean, what's wrong with it? Oh, okay. Okay. This is actually edible, and it's very, very popular in Mexico. Okay. Yes. It often grows on corn, and like I said, very, very popular. Okay, well... So, um, I'm missing the ears as well. Yeah, I'm not seeing any ears developing, I'm not seeing any fruit. No, but it, this, I find very, very interesting because you can see it's, it's also putting out more roots at ground level. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this is not the only stalk that's doing it. Over here, you can see. Yeah, yeah. Well, those are some huge roots over here. So this one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> this one's actually planted over there. Come up, then up over here. Well, no, it it bent in the ground. Yeah. The yeah. wind. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still. I mean, it's got roots into the ground. Yeah. Over Look at that. Here. Look at that. So very interesting. Um, and I cannot believe how incredibly oh, tall yeah, this is. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is an heirloom variety, and I forget its exact name, um, but I can certainly put that in the description. I got this from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Wow. So very interesting. I think Jeffrey is just amazed over there. So thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so I couldn't remember the name of the corn. I knew it was black, but I couldn't remember the exact name. It is Collie Black Incan Corn. It is from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. It does get 15 to 20 feet tall. Um, it does tassel in August, but you don't harvest it until October to November. And the fact that we are not seeing any ears of corn is perfectly normal. It does take 150 to 180 days to reach maturity. So my guess is, um, unless we have a really mild fall, that we're not going to get any harvested this year. But this is what we've learned. I will be trying to grow this variety again because I think it's really neat the way it grows. Um, I will start seeds inside in January from now on in the greenhouse and transplant it up using uh, peat pots so that there's no transplant shock when I put it in the ground. I will bury it clear up uh, making sure that all of the forming roots are covered and I will be keeping an eye because I think this would be a good variety to mulch as those roots begin to grow and they would grow into the roots making the plants stronger because when you think about a 15 or 20 foot tall uh, corn stalk if you have high wind you're going to lose that corn but if you mulch it in really well then it's going to be more sturdy and able to withstand higher wind which of course makes sense because back in uh, the days when they grew this corn because it is a uh, heirloom variety they would have had to know that their crop was going to make it because that's what they had to live on so uh, anyway anybody that's grown this I would love to hear from uh, I understand that the kernels are very very black and that the dye that comes out of them will dye anything that you have around the corn. So, um, you know, any other foods. So, uh, I can see a lot of different juices for this. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great night.